Today I have Tammy with me to talk about her experience in the Set Free Academy. So welcome, Tammy. Thanks. <laughs> so you've been in the Set Free Academy for about a year, which is really exciting. And I'm curious to know a little bit about what your life was like a year ago. So before you came into the Academy, what was going on in your life emotionally, mentally, in your relationships that made you want to come into the Set Free Academy? I was um, just, it, it felt like everything, all of my frustrations and insecurities and unhealthiness were kind of coming to a boil. And um, especially in my relationship with my husband. And um, I knew that I needed, I knew that there was stuff in me that I hadn't yet dealt with, but I didn't really know how to figure out what it was or, um, dive deep enough. And I saw a, um, an, a live teaching and intensive, so to speak on Facebook that Alana was teaching. And, um, I started watching it and I thought, oh my gosh, I, I think God just led me to the tool that he wants to give me. And I absolutely believe that's true. That's amazing. Yeah. Amazing. So God is really good like that. Like he, he, puts us in the place where he wants us to be. And it was just like, you made this choice with him. You prayed about it. You talked to your husband, you partnered with him and you decided that this was the next step for you. So what specific problems were you trying to solve with the Set Free Academy? <clears throat> Excuse me. Insecurities, driving unhealthy behaviors, unhealthy expectations, unhealthy thought patterns. Um, I basically felt like I was becoming a victim of everything that had happened in my life. Um, I, I felt like I couldn't control the fact that I had been victimized. Um, and it was it was driving everything and especially my relationship with my husband. And yes, he has stuff to work through as well. Um, but I came to realize through my first, um, I think it was the assessment call that Alana does that I really had some deep stuff that I had never dealt with. Nothing that I didn't know about. I mean, I knew about the stuff I knew about, the things, but I didn't realize that there was this, um, all of this stuff inside of me as a result of those things that I had never dealt with. And so that was huge. Yeah. So you knew in your head, like you had awareness about the things that had happened in your life. But what I'm hearing, I think, is that you didn't really know exactly how to solve the problem. You didn't know how to bring what you know about God down into your heart. Is that what I'm hearing? Exactly. I, I, I 100% believed God is in control, that God will use all things for the good of those who love him. Um, I, I knew that he loved me. I didn't feel lovable. Um, but I knew that God loved me. I believed the Bible 100%, but I couldn't, I couldn't figure out how to live it, how to claim it, so to speak. Um, yeah. I felt like I, I don't know. I didn't, it wasn't a conscious thought that I didn't have a choice, but that was the reality that I had come to believe was that I, I just didn't have a choice on how I was going to show up, what I was going to choose, um, mm -hmm. how I was going to constantly turn back to God for his guidance. And I, I don't know, it, it's kind of hard to explain, but it was very yeah. victim mentality. Yeah, no, and that makes sense, right? Because when we're used to living a certain way for so long, I don't even know that we know that there's a different way. Like there's something on the other side that we could choose or we could be empower empowered to be in that different place. So I love what you're sharing. And, you know, had you tried anything before you started the program? Oh, gosh, um, I have lived with this pit, this, this feeling inside of me. It's all of me for such a long time that I knew something wasn't right. And, um, 
I just, I knew I needed to turn it over to God and I would do a Bible study, try to turn it over to God, go to counseling, Christian counseling, and all of these things were helpful, but nothing really dove deep into that pit and started pulling stuff out and shedding it. Um, I, I'd done all kinds of counseling. I'd done Bible studies. I've done accountability groups. Um, I've done, um, my husband and I did a marriage intensive, which was eye opening um, to the fact that that was kind of the catapult to I'm really realizing that the issues here, I felt like were more my husband's than mine. Um, and that opened my eyes to the fact that actually, Tammy, you've got quite a bit here. And so it was about a month after that I had been praying and trying to figure out how am I going to, I felt very helpless, um, like, and hopeless. Like I know I need something, but so far what I've tried hasn't worked and I don't know where to go from here. And God just dropped that in the middle of my little Facebook feed. And I said, huh. And if that was it. Yeah, that's amazing. And I love, I love what you say about you know, and I was very similar, you know, where we think it's somebody else, you know, okay, yeah, everybody's got things we get to clean up, right? Like we all have things going on inside, right? But, and I did the same thing with my husband. I put all of the blame on him for a long time. I'm like, you're responsible for making this marriage better. And um, I couldn't see what was going on inside of me. And I love that you're saying the same thing. Like, hey, I finally realized that I could do something about me. And it wasn't just that we rely on other people outside of us to change, because that's very disempowering when we think, oh, okay, everyone around us has to change so that we feel better. Right. But then we can be empowered to actually choose ourselves and have a totally different life. And we can change the dynamic of the relationship by, just by changing what's right. going on inside of us and abiding in Christ and coming into agreement with his truth in our heart. And yeah, mm -hmm. I love that. That sounds amazing. <laughs> I never would have thought a year ago. Um, I mean, my husband and I in our relationship, um, we've been married 24 years and um, neither one of us wants to go anywhere, but we, we had been just, we had hit a place where we were just very, very, very unhappy. Um, neither one of us was um, seeking other relationships or anything, but we were very unhappy. We we both come from a, um, very unhealthy family situation but at at that point before i got um before i joined the set free academy and started making progress and learning about myself i really thought we we would never be better like we were just going to live the rest of our lives married and unhappy and just getting by kind of living separate lives in the same house but um, allowing God, truly allowing him to come in and help me and use the tools that Alana's learned and given us. Um, I, I mean, are we perfect? Goodness, no, but we have come such a long way. And, and just because I have opened myself to learn and to, to deal with the stuff that has made me, you know, the person I am and a lot of the unhealthiness that goes along with it and learning about it and how to choose to show up differently rather than just habitually showing up disappointed. And um, so many things in, in the modules were so, it felt so much like God putting a finger on me saying that's, I mean, so, I mean, I've read things and I'm like, oh my gosh, like, did she did she write this module about me? Like, how did she know all this stuff? Just some of the things that you've, that you've shared and taught. It's so, it was exactly what I needed to hear um, and, and needed to learn how to implement and choose. I could quote a million of the different um, things like the RAR technique and the story and the ID and just the, you know, obviously the the cliff and off the cliff just so so <laughs> All the many acronyms. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's so fun well the set free method is such a a powerful way to just live by his truth and have those tools to really be able to shift because it's mm -hmm. it's one thing like you said before to know it in your head and go 
well, I know what I'm supposed to do, but how do we actually get to a place where we just do it naturally? We be it naturally. I mean, that's, that's a lot, right? That's a lot of um, doing that deeper work and uprooting those old lies, the old ways of being, the old patterns, and actually being free to just come into alignment with him and, and clean up all the stuff that, that, that you us. use. Part of me. I love I, that. I love that term that you use come into alignment with him and his truth. Um, because yeah, I, I knew had knowledge who I was supposed to be, what I was supposed to be, but I had no clue in my flesh, in my humanness, in my, um, you know, baggage carrying self, how to get there so that I could implement certain things. So, um, and, and truly all it is, is aligning with, you know, coming into alignment, bringing all of my belief system. And um, even when I have doubts, turning those over to God and bring myself into alignment with his word. I yeah. love that's one of my, that's gotta be, I mean, I probably have about 35 favorite things, but coming into alignment is one of my favorites coming into alignment with uh, God's word and his plan for my life. And I have all these little truths and tools now that even if my initial reaction is, you know, feeling hurt or, um, you know, disappointed or offended, God um, comes very quickly with what I've learned and um, reminds me that I do, it's, it's not about me and I still have the power regardless of what was meant, whether they didn't mean it to be offensive and I just, my deep insecurities just went there, or even if they did mean it to be offensive or whatever, then I can still choose how to show up. I can still choose to show up um, in my best version of myself with the Holy Spirit as my guide and be gracious and show them love. That's amazing. That's amazing. It really is. Yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's so aligned with what God wants for us right and you know it's kind of like the difference between allowing his spirit to kind of overcome you and allow and and help you with that choice right like as you choose him as you choose the holy spirit and your oneness with him it allows you to minister to your soul right because our mind yeah. will emotions our flesh is going to want what it wants but mm -hmm. we can allow his spirit to minister to our soul and shift those things that are going on inside of us so that we can love and ascribe good intentions and not take offense and just see the whole situation differently. So that's amazing. I'm curious how your thoughts and emotions have changed since as you've been learning to live by the set free method and, you know, going through the set free Academy, how have your emotions and thoughts changed? It's like night and day. Um, my emotions tend to not be as, as um, volatile, not so up, not so down, not dependent on what's going on around me, or if my husband's in a good mood or a bad mood, or if my friends, you know, respond to my text at a certain time, or, you know, um, my emotions are just, um, they're not as volatile. And my thoughts are, um, I'm just far more aware of my thoughts. I'm kind of, I, I'm much better at that, you know, seizing every thought and making it captive to um, Christ, make it, make it, making it obedient to Christ. Um, so, you know, my, my, th my normal thought process has changed quite a bit. Um, and that I, I think more about, um, being who I am in Christ rather than being who I think I need to be in this situation to fit in with this group or to garner this, uh, you know, response. And, you know, shamefully, I've lived 52 years of um, not even realizing that I felt like I was, I, I needed to be a certain person in a certain crowd or whatever. Um, so my thoughts have certainly changed there and i'm learning how to allow god's spirit to more you know to be more in tune with when he's saying okay tammy 
remember. Just phenomenal, right? Just what he does in us when we partner with him in this way is so powerful. So he is so good. Um, so what has exceeded your expectations in this program? So when you came in, you had a certain view of what it was going to look like. What exceeded your expectations? The freedom. I, I didn't even know exactly what I needed when I joined the Set Free Academy. I just knew I needed it. And I didn't even know every, I didn't understand everything about it. I just knew I was desperate um, for change. And I didn't know how to do it because I tried different things and nothing had worked. So the freedom, the freedom from myself, the freedom from my baggage, um, continually choosing who God has revealed to me that he's created me to be. Yes. Yes. And amen. So mm -hmm. beautiful. Um, okay. So let's say there's a woman watching this right now and she's like uh, considering doing the set free Academy. She's like, yep, I want to live by the set free method. I want to be set free. And they're maybe a little fearful or nervous. What would you say to them? What would you say to somebody who's considering doing the program? I was so nervous. <laughs> I was partially mostly nervous because I was afraid of being disappointed again and, and to put um, all this effort and financial, um, the, the just all of it into something that I really wanted to work and I didn't know if it would. Um, but I prayed about it. My husband and I prayed about it. Um, so pray about it. And um, I want to say just jump in, but I know that that's not the easy thing for somebody. But I mean, I was I was almost petrified, but at the same time, I was so excited. I felt this rush that God was taking me to the thing that he had for me to help me in, in this time of my life. Um, so I was so excited. It was such a, an interesting feeling. So the fear is totally natural. I, I, I could probably say, I feel like I could speak for every single one of us ladies that has been through it and still going through it, that there was, there was some fear um, and anxiety but the hope that um, the Set Free Academy set before us um, was far more than the, the fear and the nervous you know, anxiety about it. So pray about it. And um, you know, if it is what God is calling you to do, don't not do it. It's, it's unbelievable. I, I could go on and on. I could say way too much, but I'm a wordy person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's great because I think it gives women an idea of what to expect. Because again, they they watch this and they're looking at it like, what what is this going to do for my life? What is how can I partner with God here? And to hear your story is super helpful. And also just to know that having that nervous excitement inside, you know, a little bit of fear mixed with this hope and this excitement is is normal, right? We all go through that and. You know, I love what you're saying is, you know, pray about it. And then if you feel God's calling you to it, then just do it because, you know, you've experienced great results. I mean, it's, it's amazing to hear your story. And for me to experience the shifts in you since we started working together has been a huge blessing to me because that's why I love doing this to see you be set free with the Lord and putting putting him at the center of your life in a new and exciting way, right? Where you can really feel it and tune into him is beautiful. So I just, I'm so grateful for you, grateful for our relationship. And thank you so much for being here and sharing your experience. And I just, I appreciate you so much. Right back at you.